I'm here today to share with you my ACB Herbal Scalp Cleanse. This scalp cleanse was inspired by uh, three things. One, I had been using uh, ACB straight on my scalp uh, in the past prior to locking to kind of help keep my greasy, flaky, uh, can get sore um, scalp uh, under control. Um, kind of got it under control and then, you know, stopped using it. It wasn't completely under control, but, you know, stopped using it. Um, then um, the herbal cleanse that I came up with that I did a video on and I'll put the link in the uh, description box to that one uh, was using that was having reasonably pretty good success with it but stopped using it um, and then uh, in October uh, prior to and, and after watching uh, a video from Quotidian Delight on Severia Dermatitis and her mentioning um, that the treatment that you should get, make sure that it has the salicylic, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, um, acid in it, which is aspirin. It is natural aspirin. And I remembered that white willow bark, which is one of the ingredients that I used in the herbal cleanse, is that is natural aspirin. That is, you know, exactly what it is. Um, and that's what was used back in the day before uh, modern medicine. So I said, hmm, I wonder if I marry the two together, maybe that'll, you know, really get this, you know, this crazy scalp of mine uh, under control. So I have been using that um, since October, as I mentioned. I started out. Of course, I was already washing my hair twice a week, so I would put that on the scalp, you know, going through and making sure that I get through all my parts and get, you know, get it all on my scalp um, twice a week. Um, and then after doing that for about, I think, a couple of months, two, three months, um, I backed off to once a week uh, because, you know, my scalp wasn't starting to itch at day three. <laughs> so I said, hmm, let me see if I can go, you know, a week in between washings. And that's been working out great. And I decided to do an experiment um, two weeks ago. Um, I, last time I washed my hair was, was two, uh, two weeks ago. And as a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to go wash my hair as soon as I, I get this, you know, recorded right. And it is the first time in I don't know how long that I have been able to go for two weeks and not, you know, by day three, you know, by three or four, and especially day five, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> scratching my head and, um, you know, seeing all these, these greasy, uh, you know, these white greasy flakes coming out. So I, you know, decided I, I would share this with you all. Now, um, this part I'm recording here um, is done later <laughs> after I have already recorded showing, you know, what I put in it and, and, and how I do it, which is very a very simple process. Um, but I'm just now getting to, you know, recording this. Um, but I wanted to share this with you all um, if you're like me and where your scalp um, just it was not responding to the dander shampoos, not responding to things like rosemary oil, even the the you know rosemary um, rosemary water that I you know showed you guys um, before um, that was making my scalp itch um, and still flake. So I wanted to share this with you know with those of you who. Um, have that type of scalp like I do where the essential oils are st still setting it off um, natural oils were still setting it off dandruff shampoos setting it off regular shampoos you know setting it off um, so I wanted to offer this as maybe an alternative a natural alternative um, to um, you know to help alleviate that problem um, because my scalp is no longer sore you know because it, it would get uh, when that um, the sebum, I guess it, it's it's the the scalp overproducing um, and over uh, regenerating itself, uh, which causes that you know excess sebum sebum to be built up. 
um, and, and it makes it does it makes your scalp really sore and uncomfortable so like I said I you know just thought I would um, share this with um, any of you who were looking for you know maybe a more natural way um, to uh, treat it um, and you know hopefully get some relief so I hope that you guys enjoy um, as you can see I can never say what I really want to say in just a few words I admire you guys who can you know can get your videos in four or five minutes and get everything in kind of hard for me to do so warning this video too and, and probably all of my videos uh, you know are long um, but I try to make sure that uh, I, I want to be sure that I'm clear so like I said I hope that you guys enjoy it and uh, let's go in the kitchen and you'll see how I did it like I said I did that I did that part a couple of months ago so that's why you know you're wondering like you see me in short sleeves today and in the video you can see that I'm wearing two, you know at least two layers of clothing because I did that that part um, back in February so and I'm just now you know getting it edited and put it together and all that stuff so alright I have rambled long enough uh, let's go and uh, see how it's done Okay, I'm back in the kitchen uh, for the, uh, you know, how I make my scalp plans. I also use this as my toner for my skin, um, you know, toner for my face. Sometimes I, I, that's the only thing that I'll cling with, you know. But here we go. What I have in here is two cups of plain old apple cider vinegar no special you know brand no fancy brand it's plain old apple cider vinegar half a teaspoon of the aloe powder which you have seen in the black soap video that's what it looks like and I'm trying to remember did I put anything else in here <laughs> Ooh boy okay yeah the mind is going. But yeah, I think that's all that's in here. And we're going to set that to the side. We're going to go ahead and get started with the herbs while that is still hot. Alright, what I'm going to put in here. And by the way, I can't find that video footage. I had already did this before. This is the second time I'm shooting this. Though it is it's time to make some more. But I already had that video done. Can't find, I cannot find, you know, it any either. Anywho, let's get started. Alright, we're going to put some uh, burdock root. A lot of these herbs you have seen me use before. I'm going to put, I'm going to probably put a whole teaspoon of that in there. We're going to do comfrey. Love this step. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Like I said, most of my measurements are half a teaspoon. Uh, more like heaping half a teaspoon. We're going to throw some comfrey leaf in there. I think I might add a little more than that because comfrey is, is very healing. Colt's foot leaf. because of the soothingness of the rosebuds and I love the smell and it does kind of help with the ACB AC, I don't mind the smell of ACB it does wash away I mean it, it doesn't linger in your hair at all or on your skin but you know that does kind of help with the smell 
horsetail shaved grass. Nettle. Sage. Now, for those of you with high blood pressure issues, now the, the uh, plant material doesn't uh, yield as much uh, essential you know the dry plant material doesn't yield as much essential oil as the you know straight essential oil but if you have blood pressure issues I would maybe suggest using uh, I'm trying to remember some I didn't bring that bring that sheet with me of some of the other uh, astringent astringent type uh, herbs but the one I can think of right off the top of my head would be uh, oregano Hibiscus, you see that used a whole lot in Ayurvedic, uh, definitely Ayurvedic uh, treatments. So I'm going to add probably a full teaspoon of that. And let's just add a little bit more there since those weren't really keeping. And, I, you know, this is just really an idea to give you an idea, you know, uh, do your research. Um, you can definitely uh, uh, customize this for your needs, but this is, you know, what's working. And heck, I'll change, you know, from time to time too. Next thing is chamomile. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time getting these out of here. We're going to add a little more on that because it's very, very soothing. Peppermint. That makes it nice and cooling. Put a nice heaping teaspoon. I tried that for the first time in the last batch I made. Really liked it. So, and the last ingredient is white willow bark. And again, I will I'm put a I'm put a heaping. Actually, I think I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in there. That was two heaping half teaspoons, which will make a teaspoon. All right, got all my herbs in there. I'm going to take my hot liquid, which is still kind of smoking a little bit. Pour it over my mixture there. And get me a longer spoon so I can stir that get that steeping going again using an old glass you know glass jar got another as you can tell we eat quite a bit of smokers peanut butter around here <laughs> uh, but any old glass jar with a lid um, I will suggest that the, the uh, jar is at room temperature you know don't you know use one you think you remember you got one in the refrigerator and, and pull it out and then pour this hot liquid in there you will crack the glass trust me I know I've already done it <laughs> so just kind of putting that out there as a reminder you know because you're kind of thinking you know this glass is kind of thick and it won't crack yeah I think that dress that drastic change in temperature um, you know coming out of the refrigerator and then putting that hot liquid in there um, is what makes it crack so and put the lid on there and let that I will let this steep until I'm ready to use it what I have also been doing now this is a very a fresh fresh batch what I have been doing um, is once I strain this out and I'll come back and you know show you that um, how I strain it um, but I strain just enough out put some in another you know a spray ball or whatever applicator I'm going to use to put it on my 
uh, you know, to use it out of, and then leave the rest of, leave the herbs in here. And then I'll add, you know, as I make another batch, I'll add, you know, maybe a little bit more of each one of the fresh herbs. And you probably, uh, I used the last one four times and then I went ahead and got rid of it and I'm starting anew. Um, vinegar, of course, is a natural preservative. I would not try that with, say, the black, you know, the black soap mixture because I'm using water um, as the liquid. But um, I've done, you know, with this... Um, I've done that uh, reusing, you know, these herbs four, maybe five times um, and then starting over anew and, and it, you know, really didn't have a problem with it, so. Alright, I'll come back and show you, you know. Okay, I wanted to show you what this looks like uh, when it's all strained out and you will want to uh, double strain this mixture like I showed you in the black soap video where you'll strain out the large plant material with a uh, strainer and then uh, strain it a second time through a uh, knee-high stocking to get out the even smaller plant stuff and you know granules and whatever that the uh, strainer will not catch and this is what it looks like it's a gorgeous uh, deep red of course that red coming from the uh, hibiscus flower. So.